Remember I told you that we must have a vulnerable machines that we can scan? And before we actually proceed to performing scanning and covering different tools that we will use, let us first see where we can get a vulnerable machine and how we can install it. And trust me, it is pretty easy. So just type top 10 vulnerable machines and you will see this rapid 7 link that says 10 places to find vulnerable machines for your lab. Click on that link. And down here, if I scroll all the way down, I should see a list of 10 different vulnerable machines that we can use as a hacker to practice our skills. And for this section, we're going to be going with the first one. So the name of it is Metasploitable. Click on it and it will route you to another page of Rapid7 website and it will tell you Metasploitable virtual machine to test. You can read through this if you want as it tells you some of the information about the Metasploitable. But what's the most important part is down here, in order to download this machine, you must fill in this information. Now it is up to you what information you will fill, right here. But as soon as you fill all of this, you can click on submit and it will lead you to a page where you can download Metasploitable. Up here, it tells us that Metasploitable is free to use after we fill out the form. So this is something that you must do in order to download it from the official website. And after you finish downloading it, you should finish up with a file that looks something like this. So metasploitable linux.zip. You want to extract this file. As you can see, I have already extracted it. And you should see these files right here. This vmdk file is our hard disk that we're going to use in a virtual machine. So let's see how we can install it. Go open up your virtual box. And we want to be creating a new virtual machine. We already know how to do that. Click on this new button right here. And it will ask us for the name of virtual machine and the operating system. You can name it anything you want. I will just name it Metasploitable 2. And the reason why I'm naming it 2 is because I already have it installed right here. So the names differ. In the type of operating system, you want to select Linux. And in the version of operating system, you want to scroll all the way down and select other Linux 64-bit. Once you got these settings ready, click on next. And this is what they talked about. These virtual machines will use very little hardware resources from your physical machine. That's why for this virtual machine, for the Metasploitable, we can leave 512 megabytes of RAM. It is more than enough for this machine to run. It will even work if you lower it to 256 megabytes of RAM but 512 is recommended, so let us leave it on 512, and if you don't have this much RAM to use, you can leave it on 256. Then proceed on next, and in this step, instead of creating a virtual hard disk now, we want to use an existing virtual hard disk. Once you select this option, click on this icon right here, and click on add. Then find your virtual hard disk wherever you got Metasploitable downloaded. For example, I got it on my desktop, right here. Here it is, find this VMDK file, select it, and then select it right here again, and click on choose. Once you do that, you can click on create. And this is pretty much it. We got our Metasploitable created. All we are left to do right now are two things. The first thing is navigate to settings, Go to the network settings and switch from NAT to bridged adapter. The same thing we did with our Cal Linux machine. Then choose your adapter and click on OK. This will just make our Metasploitable 2 IP address belong to the IP range of our network. Once you do that, click on Start. And this will start the process of installing Metasploitable for you. Unlike in Cal Linux, right here, you don't need to do anything this will install machine on its own, and it will take about a minute or two, maybe even less. So at the end, after this finishes, it should prompt us with a login. And you will notice that this machine doesn't have a desktop or anything else, it is a command line machine. That means we can only navigate through this machine using commands. And those commands are simply terminal commands. So just picture this as one big terminal. As we can see, 
the installation has finished and down here we got Metasploitable login. And if you read through this website, right here, if you read through this paragraph, it tells us right here that the Metasploitable login is MSF admin and the password is also MSF admin. So let's try it out. Go to our machine, type MSF admin and under password, again MSF admin. And here we are. We managed to log into our Metasploitable. Just to check our network, type I've config, and it will tell me that my IP address is 192.168.1.3. That is because I set it to be over bridge adapter. And if we try to ping Google, for example, it will work. So our machine is set up and it is ready to be scanned and attacked. You see, this was pretty simple to do. And in the next video, we are ready to start our scanning process. See you there.